What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Let's go ahead and finish this solar generator project uh, today. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a lid on top of the generator. So we have the same kind of wood that we've used for the rest of the box. And we're going to put it on top. There's going to be two uh, hinges that will go on this side and it will open just straight up like that. And then the next thing that we're going to do on the front is we're going to put on a handle. Um, and I kind of have a rough idea in mind, but this may uh, evolve as we go through it. <clears throat> uh, one side note, I apologize if the audio isn't very good. Something's wrong with my, my lavalier mic that I normally use. And so we're going with just the internal built-in mic on the camera today. So. Hopefully this turns out all right. Um, anyway, those are the two main things we're going to do. Put a lid on it, uh, put a, a handle on the front, and uh, and put a little foot on the front so that it can rest um, on that. Right now it's propped up with some some uh, two by fours and scrap pieces of wood. So anyway, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Let's get started on the lid. Okay, there you have it. That is a lid. So, that will work like that. And then we are going to put some, <clears throat> basically the solar panel will work like this. Um, we'll have some, some eye hooks that will hook into the little grommets here and the panel will just kind of lay lay flat like that. Uh, that's not perfect. Um, in a future version of this I want to do it differently where the panel can be permanently mounted to the lid although the panel's pretty big so I haven't quite thought that one all the way through yet. We may have to go with a different type of panel or several smaller panels something like that. <clears throat> Anyway, for now, this, this, that's the way this one's going to work. So that, that takes care of the lid. Now we'll move on to the handle. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to put a stronger mounting point down here at the bottom. This, this thing is actually pretty heavy with the battery and everything in it. It, it rolls smooth, but we're going to need a fairly heavy duty p, uh, place to attach this, uh, this hinge. Um, this is what I've got. <clears throat> see if we can see that very well. This is the hinge that I've got. And so basically my idea is to put a block of wood down there and then be able to either attach like this or like this really doesn't matter to me but we need a stronger point instead of trying to attach it just to this three-quarter inch plywood so I'm going to glue and screw this and then let it dry for a while so that uh, we can attach that hinge okay we got that uh, glued and screwed in there so we're going to let that dry for I don't know about an hour or so just to make it really strong and then we'll take the clamps off and mount the hinge Okay, so we've got that block uh, glued and screwed in there. It's not going anywhere. It's very strong. So the next piece that we're going to do is I'm going to um, attach the hinge, as you see here, to the underside of this 2x4 um, and then mount it to this and then we're going to see, um, well, test mock it up against that and then I'm going to see how tall um, that we want this 2x4 to be um, to be kind of a comfortable uh, pulling position for for me basically because I'm going to be the only one using this one um, 
So we'll go ahead and attach the, the hinge on there and then mock this thing up. Okay, we've got this thing marked, so let's go ahead and cut it to length. Okay, so we've got this piece cut. Now I'm going to cut this piece to about seven inches or so because I have this six and a half inch handle that's going to go on the top. Now I know that's, that's a little ghetto. It's not uh, something, <laughs> I mean, I'd have to find a a better handle situation but this is the best that I can do on short notice wanted to get this project done this weekend and um, anyway it'll work but it's not gonna be pretty so I'll definitely have to go back to the drawing board on a pulling mechanism for the uh, a finished product if we get that far but this thing should work um, it'll basically just screw on like that to about like I said about a oh, about a seven and a half inch piece It'll be connected to this and then you'll be able to grab it and pull the whole the whole piece All right now we will attach this pulling mechanism handle apparatus whatever you want to call it to the uh, reinforced part of the enclosure and then all we have left is to put a little foot underneath the bottom of the front there. Alright, works pretty good. So now we're going to take a few pieces of scrap uh, 2x4 and attach them to the underside of the enclosure. Okay, there the thing is done. We've got a handle on it. We've got the lid on it. The only thing that I don't have at this point, and I'm not going to worry about it today because I don't have any eye hooks, but is to attach, provide attachment point for the, the solar panel to go on top. But that's not really critical to the build. Um, your solar panel may be different than mine. Um, I'm not planning on pa packaging a solar panel with this kit to kind of allow you to use whatever you want. So the critical piece is, is the actual generator itself. So um, that concludes the video, guys. I probably will do some improvements on this in the near future. I'm talking to a potential partner that has a... Sorry for the traffic. <clears throat> uh, I've got a, part, a potential partner that's got a, a charge controller that will uh, that has integrated MC4 connectors in it and does some, some power metering and data logging and some really cool stuff. So uh, I will, uh, the next version will integrate that and obviously we'll have a, a better enclosure design, we'll have better wheels design, handle, everything, we'll, we'll try to improve everything in the packaging of everything. But for now this is a good working prototype, I'm going to use it this, this winter. Um, since we're running out of uh, summertime, it's the fall now, um, which is technically an extension of summer in Texas, really. But uh, anyway, I'm going to test this thing out during the winter, see what kinks it has, and we'll make some improvements. And hopefully by next spring, we'll have a, a next generation prototype uh, usable uh, early production unit, something like that, that, that I can uh, show off. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.